Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. All right, well, it's the uh, first day of uh, school (laughs) in uh, southwest Florida for my son. Uh, And, you know, summer's over, technically, and uh, last night was uh, back to uh, some regular old routines that uh, we had here. This time of year, by the way, in southwest Florida, when uh, a good chunk of the summer will say things to people from other, other places like, See, it's hot where you are, too. Or, mm-hmm. uh, hey, you get to uh, come down here. It's a little cooler in the morning, isn't it? You know what it is uh, right now? It, yeah, we have days of cloud cover. It was a morning of cloud cover, yeah. which was fine. But it's still in Donald Trump's crotch to be down here. It is <laughs> balls hot. I like that. It it's is cool balls up, hot. It's cool up here right now. Is it? You know I like to yeah. hit that little What's egg cool around. you? I think you're I, infirmed. It's no, hot when you got up, When I got up this morning, it was like 60 degrees. We've been, uh, yeah, yeah, coming in, it was 68. I was surprised. Oh, man, I mean, it's I'm, cool-ish. Yeah, well, what have you been doing? Warm. I've been walking outside, walking in and out, going to the bank, coming back here, running errands. You said you were sweating. Were you the, complaining about the heat and the other guys are saying it's cool? I mean, I, mean, I was it's just It's not hanging, August. I, I was just hanging a TV. What were you guys doing? I was uh, not hanging a TV. <laughs> Very busy not doing that. <laughs> I was bringing in... A table that has yet to be constructed uh, to the den, which is empty. It's where our studio used to Mike, be. Mike, just to put a button on it, if you were in Washington, D.C. in the middle of uh, the dead middle of August and it was 82 degrees, wouldn't you say that's cool for D.C.? I'd say it's spectacular. Yeah, it is. Nah. It's mostly sunny 82, 82 degrees. right now. What do you mean, that? Nah? Too hot for you? I, I need a breeze. I need a breeze. Oh, God, 82. I would... Kill for 82. Love 82. Right yeah, but now. it's a it's it's a moist 82. I'll take it. You know, normally on a uh, if I was a program director, I'd say, hey, talking about the weather. You guys can't think of anything better to talk about. But the way we talk about the weather is fun. We yeah, mentioned yeah. Donald Trump's crotch yes. and balls hot. And moistness. And all that. Uh, <laughs> Moisture, but, I guess. Yeah, it's the first day of school. I realized summer has passed me by, and there was nothing that I did that was particularly engaging but did it not seem of, like a fast summer well when you go to disney yeah you immediately start that rock down the mountain and it sucks <laughs> so my only trip was a land of garbage suckness oh. and vomit vomit probably and it was, the it worst was, year though for you to go like this is the revenge vacation right yeah, yeah so. he doesn't care now and i don't have to bring him again yeah it's he done doesn't really you really because he's dissatisfied thanks dan O'Brien. well he might want to go to one of the parks up there but i don't think it's got to be disney and all i've read and all people share with me continuously uh is uh little emails about how horrible the experience is and people that were Going for years and years and years, and now they uh, they don't go anymore. You know and why they don't go? They aged out, Mike. They aged nope. out. No, Disney, Disney no, the experience. The you the don't experience age out of the theme park. I'm with yeah. the mouse. No, Mike. No, you know no, what You need to the do experience. You need, sucks. you need to go to a nice bush, Bush Gardens, Tampa. Uh, no, no. I, I don't want to do that either. I am done. My my wife will handle amusement park duty. I'm my. I've been to my last amusement park. It makes me uh, unhappy. It truly does. They don't amuse you. They, they there are there are things that can be fun, uh, but it's not worth the overwhelming crowd scenes that you have to deal with for what I describe as manufactured fun. Mm. Okay, mm. theme parks are designed for manufactured fun. You know what's fun? Uh, what you're going to do maybe this weekend uh, where you get in a tube and you go down the river and you do, you know, it's fun going to, uh, you know, the great outdoors and going fishing or playing a sport outside or going to a sporting event. That's fun. Manufactured fun where you wait in line to have a fun experience. Just not my cup of tea. I don't begrudge anybody for doing it. I th- I say, knock yourselves out. Have a fantastic time. Just not my my thing. And okay. now the will you summer go is over. If, if Carla arranges it, will you go? Or are what? you just do- to theme parks? Or are you just no. done? No, out. Wow. Wow. Yeah, not a, never again. No, I don't have any interest whatsoever in that. And, not you a- know, I think that uh, you have a prior. I think 63, if you skewed the demographics mm. for 
your modern theme park, 63 is the distinct minority. And I'm not going to be and giving that's up anything. age, not IQ, right? Well, <laughs> you saw the people coming in. Well, no. I couldn't do that uh, on yeah, the bonus yeah, show. I, mean, I could, do? I could do that in a private conversation. No, you yeah, must. Who, it was just a misunderstanding. That's I have all. To text you guys. You're an ass, Rob. No, I'm not. Yeah, why don't you text us? This. Yeah. Why don't all you right. text us? See, because I just had a great weekend at an amusement park. I found it very amusing. Oh, well, yeah. Well, this is, it's it would be amusing for anyone if you're going with an executive of the amusement park. It was very great, and you spent <laughs> the majority of your life like in a fat suit. Go in amusement parks. This is the first time you go on skinny and you can actually ride every ride. No, he's yeah. thrilled and he loves big amusement win. parks. Yeah, he likes this, it. This is, he gets his full value. Man never threw a for ball. The dollar. That's I, why he likes amusement parks. Mike, he likes I threw a manufactured ball. fun. I did throw a ball to try to knock down the milk the milk bottles. There, there it is. <laughs> See? Did no pressure. Yeah. No little league. How's the arm strength? You know. Yeah. Well, I was working as a youth, as you recall. Yeah. That's right. Oh, hey, school. First day of school. He's back. Look at, oh, does he look downtrodden? Mom got me a special suit. What is it? That looks I amazing. What is that? Can I have a bite? I don't know. He's blowing it all over the place. Don't mess up your workout, man. Oh, no, that wasn't a bite. What that is was, it? That was half right, of it. Here. Oh, God. That's, a, that's about right. It looks, it's, well, uh, you didn't even give it back to him. You just put it in your mouth. What well, is it? Not, I gave most of it. Well, shut up, Oscar. <laughs> yeah, shut up, Oscar. Yeah, shut up. Wow. <laughs> What Foster. is it? it in looks... the building, he's ten minutes late. He lives in the building. What is it? Looks it looks like something he used to finish up the the drywall. What is it? What, what is it? Is it meringue or something mm-hmm. like that? Okay, I love you. Did you have a good day? Amazing day. Oh, oh, oh yeah. that's great. Yeah. I don't want to share Worth that with every penny. Yeah, because it was, it was it was meringue hey, Tuesday hey, hey. at the what? school. What? I didn't say anything. Fix an A on the Ivet pray, please. Oh, Jesus please. Christ. Yeah, Oscar. Not Almighty. What's wrong with you today? What is wrong with you today? got invested. What is wrong with you today? Fud up, Oscar. Fud up. <laughs> God. Oh, that tastes like ass. Well, it looked like the meringue was way too hard. You're going like to need a tasty beverage. Yeah, you are. I, I don't like that. Speaking of beverages. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I want to get to a bunch of stuff at the front of the show today, today okay? I want to talk about that tape that we had yesterday with the Orange Smash. Yes. Yeah. The lady. Here's the brilliant thing about it. Not only, and, and, I, and I think it translates well, when I share a story about things on the show, mm-hmm. that's when something has really made me happy. Mm-hmm. And so that clip of the lady on the beach with the orange smash, do you have it uh, archived at all or lying around anywhere? Uh, I can uh, with look. The, it might still be If you be find it, uh, she might be floating around somewhere. Yeah. Th- this lady, Rob plays in Soundtown, this lady that's drinking orange smash, 10 percent alcohol by volume From and she's devil's lit. backbone yeah and she's in jersey at the jersey shore and she's so happy about her orange smash and uh a lot of times i will leave the show ah. and okay the, the, play the lady this is the lady who likes her orange I smash am down the shore in the beach turn it up a little bit and i bought these orange smash by they are from <laughs> um Birds. What is it? The Devil Backbone Distillery Company. Now, I've been coming to the shore for, I don't even want to tell you, look at that butterfly. That's my sister. <laughs> lady lady digresses. For I don't know how many years, and I have had many a drink. Look at the butterfly. I'm. Anyway, <laughs> I bought a four pack of this. It is. 10% alcohol. When I tell you, you need to get this stuff. I live in PA. I'm in Jersey. I thought I'd give this a try. When I tell you, I didn't even sip half of my cup. I, I, you guys. I literally am crying laughing. <laughs> so I had two of these so far. And I got to tell you, I'm, I'm going to bring, they come in a four pack. And I'm going to bring the four pack. I'm going to go back to the beer distributor, wherever I went. And I'm going to get four of these to go home to PA. Oh. But if you have not tried this orange smash, you've, you've, I, I, there's no words. No words. 
This is great viral. No words. No viral words. Advertising. No Amazing. words. Now, so I leave the show, and, and even though we're mocking it and we're having fun with it, and we are- I thought uh, we were celebrating we're, it. Yes, we're it was t- a celebration. We're, yeah. we're celebrating, but we're having fun with it. We're yeah, making of course, fun of it. of course. Uh, but I listen, I'm, I'm saying, you know, I don't roar like I used to roar, and Me I neither. just- uh, and I don't, and we don't socialize. But when we do, there's nothing quite like having people over uh, for like an outdoor thing, hanging out on the patio, sitting there with friends and stuff. And now, when I'm inclined to have an alcoholic beverage, I will. Uh, I like to have uh, stuff that tastes good. I just am not into necessarily always having a beer. And beer has just passed me by a little bit. I'm also, not uh, as beery as I When you're to. hosting, if you can roll out something that is great and unexpected, you're a magical host. Mm-hmm. You know, if they right. have something that is like unexpected and everyone loves it. Like I went to a, a, a shindig of, a couple years ago where they made the most amazing margaritas because it was all top shelf booze and all sure. fresh squeezed stuff. It's and it fun. was like, mm-hmm. oh my God, it was the greatest. So this lady uh, is talking about this, and we had fun with it. And then in my mind, I ventured out today and uh, went to the local uh, TW, Total Wine, which really doesn't they, do it for me. They should cover you know? They should actually uh, have it. They don't. They don't. Well, well Mike, uh, are you sure you didn't go to partial wine? It's partial everything. Yeah, it is. In my home. Yeah. They, they, right? Yeah. Do you agree with that from your drinking days? I do, as right? a matter of fact. Well, like, not I mean, well stocked no, at all. Kind of a kind of a Home Depot of booze. It should be. Right? I mean, as, if you've got the big movers, it should be easy to keep it in stock. Well, right. it, in fairness, and Mike, cold. Is, Mike is right. Because I'm on, this is what I've been doing during the during this discussion, is I, I have been down this road before where you're looking for the brewery doesn't matter who acquired them i think anheuser busch right was a double, yeah. back mm-hmm. Bush. they have a finder on their website and i've put your zip code in mike and i put a 20 mile radius and they are not to be found in your area not at all not at all wow how about online is there online he said <laughs> <laughs> how, I about, got... <laughs> how about on the world wide web guys <laughs> why world web uh world wide web <laughs> i went what if today... we hired dan o'brien to drive it down <laughs> Come on now. He'll take an Uber. So I remembered back. there was another confection that I enjoyed two, maybe three years ago that was called Fisher's Island Lemonade. Yes, mm. and I went around up here looking for it and couldn't find it for you. I forgot it is insanely expensive. Like insanely expensive. But it is the greatest Hard lemonade you will ever have. And Rob, I feel terrible talking about this. That's okay. Because I know that was could your you, go-to. Could that you hear my mouth to. watering? I mean, you made your own. I you heard made a lot your of, own back in the day. Yeah, um, I. You know, it was. I went to, and once again, I'm. Uh, I'm sitting there at lunch because people are talking about beverages, and I look down and I see that uh, this this company has sprouted. This company has grown. Fishers? This company has. Different flavors now. They yeah. have a they have a hard iced tea. This is they have a spritz now this, that they sell. This is what you get, Mike, for moving to like what is not a bustling metropolis. When yes. I when I type in my mom's zip code, which is O Town, all New Maryland, for the uh, smash. Yeah, for the smash. Because if I'm going to yes. drink, I'm going to drink with her. Um, right. We. Uh, That's nice. <laughs> we. Uh, <laughs> it's funny because she doesn't drink, which is hilarious. Um, there are. There's a 7-Eleven in Olney that sells this thing. There's a 7-Eleven in McLean that sells this thing. There's a Riverbend Golf and Country I've never been that sells this thing in Great Falls. Wow. Like, it's everywhere in the Midlands. There's a set. You can get it at a 7-Eleven. Yeah, but Mike, it's a McLean 7-Eleven. So it's like, welcome to the 7-Eleven. Would you like to have (laughs) a beautiful uh, orange sponge? So the question is, (laughs) not that we've done this before, and and I I think it's illegal to transport alcohol. Well, what we do now on the show, we'll have a designated driver forever. So Rob will supervise. Yes. Uh, and, but and he's if, you, he's if we want to get this taste test to you. Yes. And if it wasn't us and there was a, um, there was a spinoff show, the Schmike Shomo Schmera show. Right. Yeah. How would they get it to Mike in one piece? Well, it's canned. Yeah. Right? But what if, what if you don't want it to get hot? Well, no. Well, it, if it's not served, if it's not sold cold, that's what you got to check out. And he really, it would be okay if you re-chilled it. 
What you would do is get a box and wrap it in a lot of bubble wrap mm-hmm. and then seal it tight. And when they say, is there anything liquid in this box? You say no. I wouldn't do that because that's illegal. That is illegal. I've never but done I think, that. Don't they, can I get it online? Can, do they sell it online? They would have to sell it online. You just go, buy it go, could I'll be, go, you know, Mike, at a 10%, that, yeah, might, you might, be be banned, an, that might be an issue for your neighbor because your, your governor cares about yeah, you. Yeah, you guys barely wear, wear clothes there, let alone a 10% alcohol. Yeah, that's, that's okay. Like so they want to be careful about what they send. Down. I got it. Here we go. Yeah, let's see what let's see what they have for Florida. Mm-hmm. I'm just right. gonna go and see. If, nope, they don't they don't sell them on their site yep. at all. You got to go through through an that's established these companies. vendor. God, they could make so much money if they did that. Oh, I believe they it's did not, it. With, the Fishers did it. I believe it's the uh, not the company as much it would be local regulation. Anheuser Busch. Yeah, I have now in the refrigerator after today. I bought Italian. Uh, limoncello, oh. vodka, and uh, lemonade. That'll be good. I'm not uh, shaking it was okay. Yet. It was very dry. Very dry to the point of like, like what martini? is this? Like a dry martini? <laughs> Just not a lot of flavor, right? Mm-hmm. Not a lot of flavor. Then I got uh, this margarita, uh, pre-made margarita in a can. Then I got- Oh, you know that's uh, a mistake. Then I got the long drink. You're familiar with the long yes, drink? Yes, of course. The, uh, yeah, of course. the yeah. Finnish you, beverage. You move I got cases the, on I, your own up here. Mm-hmm. I got the sugar-free, and then I got the uh, 8.75 for special guests. Ah. That's uh, that's what I got. So that's it. That's uh, yeah. my little story that we had. Can I that, give you so. just- The Lemoncello is probably your best purchase, but I think if it, if it came off dry- It wasn't good. Really? Did and you I bought serve two, two four-packs. How wicked cold did you serve it? It wasn't wicked cold. It needs to be wicked cold. Mike, I had, it, I had if, it in the car. If you, oh. ever, <laughs> I tried one. I finished this it right guy. before the show. It's and and by the way, I had I like ten fifteen minutes before the show. I had just a teeny tiny little buzz, and now it's gone, gone, gone. gone I had gone. it in the car. I had just it in like the car. ice cream. Yeah, yeah, like when you used to get the ice cream cone and sit at the middle school. <laughs> Absolutely, God, I got I got that stuff. People always ask you what you do in Florida. You drink heavily. Yeah, That's in the car. You no, um, you don't. I mean, the thing is, but when you do, I want to do it uh, in a way where it's where like it's a refreshing. Saturday. It's a Saturday afternoon. Yeah. is refreshing. That's yeah. that's what I. And by the way, I, I, I I'm. A, it's obscene what they charge for for a four this, pack. For a four pack. How it much really for the is. limoncello? Uh, oh, that wasn't that bad. That wasn't that bad. Okay, but what the, about the, the Fishers? The Fishers Island. I, it's expensive. I don't know. Mike, I don't remember. Yeah, I bet exactly. I know. If you wish to try, if, and maybe this is good for Rob. Because you're, you're, you're dry, right? As as a bone. Do you drink, Are you allowed to drink the 0.0 or is that a trigger? I, I've, well, I, one thing I'm prided myself on is I've had nothing but water. Okay. So I, I probably, I mean, I've had sparkling and flat, but just well, water. But do you think like a soda, a diet soda would be a stepping stone for you? Uh, Have I they just, told you to avoid that? Yeah, no, got they have this is, this is on me because I don't want any caffeine. But I mean, diet, a diet, diabetes. Yeah, but a diet soda is so. If I'm going to drink a soda, I want to really enjoy it, and I never really enjoyed diet soda. It tastes okay. sort of right. garbagey, uh, and All also right. the caffeine. I'm off caffeine now, which used to be okay. a big trouble for me. So. What are you Mormon? Right, good for you. Congratulations. Hey, don't bust his balls. <laughs> yeah. We're going to find your body. We get to bust <laughs> his balls. A, you a, don't bust his balls. One day. <laughs> Pony, I'm not Norman, right. but I'm Mormon, but I am something else that's unfamiliar to you, which is a happily married man. Ah, Pony, Pony oh, I have a new insult that? for you. Okay, oh, yeah. hey Pony. Go swallow a bee. It's coming from the health sector. <laughs> I just swallowed a bee. Okay, thank you very much. Him, I just swallowed a bee. I just swallowed a bee. Oh, don't have to eat uh, for a week. Uh, hey. Uh, uh, <laughs> hey, Matt. Yes. Have you had non-alcoholic brew? I have not, but if what I've heard, they I contain have. some trace amount of alcohol. Who? I've Told heard that, you? too. I you? have, too. Mm-hmm. I've heard that, oh, too. I might be. Then why would they try to market or duels and such to those that don't drink well because that's the marketing play it would be a trace amount of alcohol probably not enough to get you drunk. let me look it up the, uh, thank talk you. amongst yourselves yes. All right, you know on. i only share this because i had the athletic brew at the dry house in boston yeah. mm-hmm. they, they don't by the way they have alcohol they, they just don't like drinking so drinking alone is sad right um so you don't do that when you're up there um they i had the regular like their blonde athletic brew non-alcoholic tastes yeah. like garbage but their IPA, and the brand is called Athletic Brew, to be clear. Okay. Tasted like an Odules IPA. Odules might be synonymous with non-alcoholic beer, but technically, it is a near beer. Ah. It's brewed just like a regular lager before the alcohol is removed using a low-temperature distillation process, mm-hmm. resulting in a very low 
ABV of about 0.4%. I had no idea. I think mm, I've had an O'Doul's, and I think it's kind of lousy. Class Taller is a pretty good non-alcoholic brew. And you know what? You used to sponsor was you used to be sponsored by Buckler, remember? For a long oh, time. Oh, yeah, Buckler. Yeah, yeah I, I think was, that was uh, my, the Heineken people that made that. It was a very small period of my life when I was on the wagon, and I, and I tried non-alcoholic brews, and they were okay. Yeah. There, I was okay with that if you like the, but I mean, nobody drinks beer because they like no, the No, and it's empty calories. Right. Because it's going to be the same amount of calories. If you're going to have empty calories, have an orange smash, exactly. which I can't get down in Florida, which sucks beyond suctum. Maybe it you does, should drive you to know. Georgia. Uh, is is that where you can get them, Maybe. Georgia? I, I, I think we can talk to the the multiverse and figure out how we can get you something. The Omera multiverse? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'd I like so. you to have one, too, so we can do yeah, a taste know, test on the show. I can walk down to 7-Eleven, I just said. You can walk down to 7-Eleven. Yeah, but we want you to have right. something, too. Yeah, and I, we well, want well, you like to drink it in the studio, not in the car. I will no. Well, that was just today. <laughs> okay. It was just because I was motivated from that tape, and it's probably like, why I got in is, trouble with this, my wife. This isn't a common uh, habit, I'm sure. Yeah, this is just today. And he drink. No, the I don't do it regularly. <laughs> well, you didn't have when to pick we go out. We go. It was fine. We go. We get a margarita when we go out to dinner. Sure. Uh, on our on our cheat night. Yeah. We do that. And by the way, cheat night. If you're just tuning in, it's when uh, Laura and I. Uh, I'm sorry, Carla and I. Excuse uh, me. Uh, yeah. Someone's been drinking. Are those one of your fantasies? Shut something? up. Move forward. What's going on? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Someone's Christ. got mail. I hate you. I hate he you. He didn't do it. <laughs> I swear to God. Deck man. Great memories with a nice deck. Deck man. Oh, that's going to be painful later. <laughs> you say that's going to be painful later? Replacements and so much more. We don't build just decks. We build memories. Make your memory a good one. Deck man. You can have an orange Carol smash on the deck. Go for best prizes. Call Deckman now. Okay. Visit All right. Too long. Thank you. All I right. just wanted you to clear uh, things up because I, for a moment, had a different vision of cheat day. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sometimes. <laughs> I know. It happens. It happens. It's the brain. You I, know? Call, I do the very best. I read a lot of copy every week. Yeah. You know? I call Robert Linus all the time. It's very fine. few, very few mistakes yes. when I read that copy. That's right. Anyway, moving on. I uh, Carla. I got in trouble, <laughs> perhaps because I, even the slightest little buzz will cause me sometimes to be a little over sharing with my speech. Mm -hmm. uh, and so over -sharing. <laughs> Mrs. O'Mara has been looking to buy some small furniture for the den since I moved mm. my studio out. Okay. You know that's been a long time. Yes. Yeah, you've been working on yeah. that. And I got in trouble because of uh, what I said to her. She uh, she showed me one table, and it's going to go, I guess, in between two chairs. It's like an occasional she, table? I uh, No. Like I, a I coffee table it. or an end table? No. Or? It's furniture. He doesn't know. Well, I mean, I just want to... If it, it, Does it it's open up into a, a round... Does it open know. up into a larger table? Tell me, can I finish my story? Yes. And can you just calm down, please? Mm -hmm. I just need to get this out. So she shows me the picture of the couch she bought. Mm. And then she shows me the picture of the coffee table she okay. bought that's going to go in the middle. Sure. And she said, what do you think? I said, uh, I wrote it down what I said. I don't remember it now because I was drinking <laughs> on my the, way home. In the car. Uh, okay, wait a minute. No. Oh, okay. She's mad at me about the furniture. I said... Oh, that's nice. When do the French hookers get here? Oh, oh no. Uh, like Victorian? <laughs> but you've painted a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little yeah. of that. Yeah. A little of that. Sort of like it looks a, like, yeah, like yeah. Miss New Kitty's Orleans cat house. I was gonna say Miss Kitty's cat house. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Upstairs. Dolly's gonna come down. Dolly Parton's gonna come down with Burt Reynolds. Westworld. You know? We're upstairs <laughs> at the saloon and uh right. he's out in the coach drinking an orange. It was, smash. <laughs> it was interesting. It was uh yeah, quite interesting. Quite yeah. really. Uh <laughs> Yeah, so it was, uh, I can't get my Orange Smash, but I'm going to get my uh, Fisher's Island because the show influences me. Yeah. And I think that we influence other people. And that makes me very happy that we're able to do that. I think that's a wonderful but, thing. But when you drink your Fisher's, make sure you use a coaster before you put it down on the hooker table. The hooker table. It's for marble. The, oh, it, for the wow. record. Wow. Look at you. For the record, we're not saying that you should have a to-go brew. No. Anywhere you go, right? We're, we're just being clear. No, being and, clear. and this was yeah. just, I was picking this up. Yeah. I said that the- You want to uh, your whistle. We, we took the damaged, remember the horrible Samsung mm -hmm, refrigerator? Mm -hmm. Yes. That I finally uh, jettisoned and took your recommendation yep. and got me a Whirlpool. Whirlpool. Yep. So we moved like many suburbanites. I think it's kind of the badge of honor of a suburbanite. You move your 
old refrigerator into your garage. Right, right. exactly. And I did that. And even with the hot temperatures in Florida and not having any air going into that garage, it's done okay. And it's our beverage uh, container. It's exactly container. what you need, yeah. Mm-hmm. Now I'm getting really self-conscious, no, just, even though I am fine. You're fine. You uh, did just say container, not container. Container. Thank you. And so I want to. I said to Carla, containers. I want to make that refrigerator the fun refrigerator. Mm. Oh yeah, and, yeah. The fun. And having like Miller Lite and Diet Coke in there is not fun, but having the long drink. And the Fisher's Island uh, mm. lemonade, and having an occasional like pre-made margarita sure. or a spritzer of some kind, and not hard seltzer. That, that I, I hate. I that. think I think hard seltzer is crap. I do too. I think all of it's crap. I, do I think too. it's disgusting, mm-hmm. and it doesn't get you anything other than just a kind of taste. Mm. You know what would be fun you know? in the fun refrigerator? How is that for descriptive words? It's good. It's using your talent. The, no, the seltzer got the just this terrible aftertaste. Yep. It's mm-hmm. it's. It feels like you're drinking a carbonated chemical cocktail. Mike, that's what it to make like. the refrigerator truly fun, you need Jello shots. Now that's fun. Well, that's a specialty item that you make, and you know you wouldn't want to just keep it in the refrigerator for a long time. Mm. That's a same day event. That Is can it be. not? Well, day before, right? I think oftentimes day before. Yeah, but I had a bad experience with Jello shots up in Maine one time when uh, a friend of my mother-in-law's came and made them, and my daughters were around, and I came into the kitchen and she was showing them the Jello. I'm like, well, you know, and I, I think I may have been, once again uh, I overshared by saying, uh, "What the f are you doing?" Yeah, and getting really upset with that. And yeah. I, I've always thought Jello shots are a joke. Jello, Jello shots, shots they, 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 they saved my block party once. Really? Oh, oh yeah, but I almost killed you. Oh, well, no, this was years ago. <laughs> I was fine then. Very little internal bleeding then. I was, fu- <laughs> I was fine. My weight was, was solid fine. and a, ni- a much higher and solid, steady weight. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, all right. Hold on a second. Overproofed uh, vodka. I have to do this because I, I don't want to wait. Because okay. I'm looking on the and Oscar comes in. Uh, <laughs> we tape at 3 p.m. Eastern time during the summer. Uh, Oscar rolls in about four o'clock, four yeah. fifteen. Yeah, it was. And and so he walks in and uh, he says, but he's got some great a uh, great thing that I wanted to talk about, and it's the top five words that make you sound rich. Yes. Is that what it is? Yes. Um, where did you uh, where did you find? Well, this, I, this, this is, is interesting. This is, I have full credit. Uh, my friends at TikTok uh, internet rolled this out, and I was like, well, this is delivered Bitcoin. completely wrong. Thank you, Pony. And. But I didn't know any of the words. I'm a plebe. I'm a surf. So are these words that you use that make you sound rich? Hey, chin chin. Hey, hi, hi, Yeah, hi. if you know these words, <laughs> you should know these words if you're wealthy. Okay. You should know these words? Yes, yes if you're wealthy. A, um, Top seems five to be words the, that seems scream, to be the theme of today's show. That screams you're wealthy. All right, so are uh, you going to quiz yes, people I'll quiz here? You. I'll quiz you. Yeah, please quiz us. Quiz, 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 quiz us. The millionaire okay, quiz. Okay, do you all know what a valance is? Uh, yeah, I do. Mm-hmm. What is a valance is a, uh, leather, usually, a a leather, uh, like briefcase. No, that's a valise. <clears throat> a no, valance what's a valance? Is, do you is, know what a valance is? It's the top curtain rod on your yes. window treatment. Yes. How Look about that? I lose. So Rob gets the ding. There when we go. Liberty valance came to town. <laughs> women folk would What's hide? that from? The what's man who from? shot Liberty valance. Okay, there yeah. it is. That's mm. that's another. That's a movie. Most so people Rob say, is the most people say that um, the fabric above the window. Mm-hmm. Uh, a valance. You a valance. would call that a valance. Mm-hmm. Okay, what don't ab- care for him. What about a sconce? Uh, a sconce is a light fixture that's usually on the wall, and it can hold either a uh, light bulb, an electric light, or a candle, and it's a decorative uh, item that goes on the wall to illuminate a room. Great, concur. Okay, most people say nice wall light. Yep. You say nice sconces or sconces. 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 Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the sconces. Okay. They come yeah. from Wisconsin. <laughs> the sconces are coming over. <laughs> they just went to the Trump rally. <laughs> Betty and Jimmy sconce. <laughs> I brought you a hat. <laughs> when did you get back? I brought you a hat. Who are Do you, you want one of the hats? Are you Betty sconce? I've got a Let's Go Brandon hat. <laughs> That's funny, Betty. <laughs> Peter? <laughs> Peter, I've got a Let's Go Brandon hat. From the from the rally from the rally. <laughs> I did not okay. know valance, but I knew sconce. Okay, good, good. Okay. What about all right? An agraf. 
What? A graph. I don't think he's pronouncing it. A graph. A G R A F F. A graph? Yes. I don't know. Well, it's uh, two act two axes, X and Y. <laughs> and that's a graph. No, a I graph. don't know what I don't know Pony? what it, uh, I don't. The only one I knew is sconce. Okay. Uh, Thanks, Pony. And a graph. <laughs> You're welcome, Rob. Is the little metal piece on a champagne bottle. Oh, the, the a graph. The like yeah. the, the cage that yeah, holds the, cage, the cork. The That's cage. good. And that would mean if you know that, you're swilling the good stuff yep. champagne. Yep. Right? Yeah. yeah. I would be like, get this metal off of this. Well, thing. Well, because <laughs> sometimes it's just a twist. I probably called it the I know S probably called it the twisty thing. <laughs> <laughs> take the twist you have to take the twisty thing off before. I, I'm bet a you would, I thought you would call it a cork cage. Like you did you is that what is that I would your call own it, thing? I would call it a cage of some sort because it looks like a cage. That well, holds but you never have. It's, it's you trapped, never, you're trying it's, to make yourself sound smarter than you no, are. You I'm never not at all. I'm a court all, cage. All I'm saying is that I don't know either. He's in recovery. Mm. Clearly, that cage is trapping his alcohol. So that's a, you know. That's <laughs> Get out of going. my way and let's. <laughs> How's pop Rob the doing? Court. Still living life in his court cage. <laughs> 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 he's a good ass. <laughs> Yeah, we let, him, good ass. we let him run around <laughs> and dig. dig. Got a All right, like a this is fun. Food. This is good, Oscar. Right. This is this is a great Tuesday thing. Okay, what about cloche? I'm wearing chum right now. <laughs> C-L-O-C-H-E. When I watched the Kentucky Derby, it was a cloche call. <laughs> Spell a it again, cloche. Oscar. Cloche. C-L-O-C-H-E. Cloche. 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 Hmm. Man, I'm out. Does I don't it have know. something to do with no time? It. No, it's, um, maybe you can describe these. I don't even know. Oh, it's the um, glass dome over baked goods. Like uh, you would have like a, in a diner, you would see a pie with a glass dome over it with a handle. Oh, and so would that be something you that you, that you would be Instead of served saying, on Downton Abbey too? I suppose, yeah. Instead of saying, "Can you take that glass cover off?" Take of the cloche off. It's the cloche. Take the cloche off yeah. the cake. If yes. you wanted to get, mm. if you wanted to get to the bat phone, if Commissioner Gordon needed to get to the bat phone, he has to take off Tilly? the cloche. Tilly, <laughs> Tilly, take the cloche off the finger sandwiches. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> you almost sang that to the tune of Deck Man. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Boy, this are we at five yet? This is the last one. This, Mike, this is you know oh, what? I'm all, really disappointed. I all, wanted to do good on the Richie Rich. Mike, all test. points are doubled because this is the last one. I knew there none you. of these except for sconce. Right. This last one is votive. Votive. V O T I V E. So, motive is what drives you to do that. Vote, uh, votive. It's does it have something to do with charity? Mm, does close. it have anything you to do with li- volunteering? You're like really grabbing onto the, your life. You're, you're, I don't think so. I don't think so. I, I don't think so. No, I a votive is something that you. Uh, my votive was the desire to help the kids in India. Okay. That's why I I support. The Indian Relief Fund. I think a that's, votive that's is a tiny say. candle, yeah. often called a tea light, that's used from lighting Small stuff candle. from Bingo, within. bango. Yeah. Look at this blue blood. Why did you say I was close? Yeah, because he lied to I you. I was just egging you on. Dick man. <laughs> <laughs> Dick man. <laughs> uh, that's cool. That's yeah, cool. I like that's that. Uh, very good. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, I like uh, the uh, graph. That's my... Big takeaway. That's a good one. Right. And close. How, good how too. would you use the graph? Like if you were a blue blood, I would. This would say, Carla, could you please take the orange smash out from under the graph? <laughs> a cage. Oh, a graph is the a graph is the cage the for the, the court. Yeah, the, the champagne. Cloche yeah. is the uh, cloche. The cloche. cloche. Yeah. Take the cloche off the orange smash and uh, get me my slippers. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> and then I would I would finish it by going. Thank you. We have to take a break. Yeah, that, that blood isn't blue. Yeah. Oscar, did you get my text message? I did. Thank you. Okay. Noted. Thank, thank, you. thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, we will uh, take a break and uh, we, <laughs> uh, we'll take a little break. That's a okay. good message. I'll show you a cloche. Uh, we'll have the uh, home page when we come back.
on the Mike O'Mara show. <laughs> Mike O'Mara. Yes, Rob Spiewak. Do you like not being hurt under bridges? I sure do. There's nothing that excites me more than that static. Yeah, it's great being on AM. We're talking about the Mike O'Mara show a little before 5 every Monday through Friday right here on the mighty AM 1630 KCJJ. Hope you give us a listen. You'll enjoy it. And remember, corn. Enjoy it a second time. It's the Mike O'Mara Show, <laughs> only on the mighty 1630 KCJJ. Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. This portion of our program is brought to you by Liquid IV. The hot summer months are here, and we need to be proactive about keeping our bodies fueled and hydrated. It makes us feel healthier in our everyday lives. Just one stick of Liquid IV. Got it in there here it right is. now. There it is. The hydration multiplier and 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone. Plus, Liquid IV has incredible hydration flavors. Watermelon, lemon, lime. Excuse me? You're fine. <laughs> Watermelon, lemon, lime. I don't know how you got home. Uh, water, uh, strawberry. Strawberry. You sound Pina like Col- Elvis at the end of his film. Well, this is, a tribute. this is a tribute on Death Day. <laughs> um, and it's delicious, man. <laughs> Plus, it has three times the electrolytes of traditional sports drinks. Plus tax. It's non-GMO and free from gluten, dairy, and soy. Liquid IV has cellular transport technology, CTT. It's the optimal ratio. It's the optimal ratio of glucose, sodium, and <laughs> potassium to deliver water and nutrients to the bloodstream. Super fast. Plus, uh, Liquid IV is out to change the world. They've donated over 20 million servings globally. Be like me. Drink Liquid IV. Grab Liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use code TMOS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use our promo code TMOS. And thank you, Liquid IV. From the four corners of the World Wide Web and into your digital device, it's what you need to know. This is the homepage. Snoop Dogg has a new breakfast cereal. Mm. Yeah, there it is. Just let that lay there for a second. Mm. And no, it does not contain cannabis. Mm. How about that? I'm out. Uh, But it has a name that's fun to say whether you're high or not. Snoop Loops. (laughs) (laughs) That's fun. Snoop Loops are gluten-free, and they have marshmallows, which uh, makes all cereals better. Yes. They're part of Snoop's broadest foods line, and uh, some of the proceeds go to charities like Door of Hope, which benefits the homeless. Uh, Snoop's real name is Calvin Broadus. Yes. Uh, speaking of Snoop, he broke into the top 10 of this week's Hot 100 with Bad Decisions, his collaboration with Benny Blanco and BTS. Uh, that makes him... One of the only uh, only three artists with a top 10 hit in the 90s, 2000s, 2010s, and 2020s. The other uh, two are Mariah Carey and Jay-Z. I did, I did not know that. that. That's, did some you? Wild, that's some wild stuff. Say wild, wild stuff. Yes, sir. Get me my Snoop Loops and my Fisher's Island lemonade <laughs> for the car. Uh, Prince Harry's underwear I'm has in. hit the auction block and... Uh, Already the build the bidding is fierce. Uh, the in-person segment of the auction opened the other day at the Hustler Club in Las Vegas. Hold on. Oh, it's the I don't Hustler think Club auction. I don't think he's sanctioning this. Uh, he's and not a, call, a member, is he? <laughs> a call-in bidder pledged two hundred fifty thousand dollars for it. Uh, the guy said he wants to build a shrine to the underwear. At the strip club he owns in San Diego. Mm. He, uh, the bidding will continue online until September 30th uh, or when the price reaches $1 million. See, the question uh, I have is where did Trip Affleck find all that money? I have no idea. Yeah, we, I didn't know he owned a strip club. Are we joint. still, and I, I'm sorry if I missed this, but I thought that underwear had already been sold. Well, maybe it was sold and like now he's auction? put it up for auction. Man, and that's know. where the money is the resale. Yeah, because I bet it is. I got it right here, Oscar. The shorts are being sold by a former stripper named Carrie Royale, who uh, partied with Harry during his infamous ben, uh, bender in Vegas about a decade ago. Uh, some of the proceeds will go to Archwell, the charitable foundation set up by Harry and his wife, Meghan Markle, uh, who's probably not terribly amused by any of this. So they're good. You know, doesn't it even suck more when they put it back to the charity that he sponsors? Oh, yeah. 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 You know, it's like this, you're not going like, to take the money. 
Hey, I'm trying to do some good. Thank you very, very much. All right. Uh, Moving right along, Bryce Dallas Howard and Chris Pratt were co-leads of the uh, Jurassic World trilogy, Mm -hmm. but they weren't paid the same. Howard claims she made, quote, so much less than him. But Chris stepped up when it came to other franchise opportunities that hadn't been negotiated already, like video games and theme park rides. There it is again. Wow. She says, quote, he literally told me, you guys don't even have to do anything. I'm going to do all the negotiating. We're going to be paid the same, and you don't have to think about this, Bryce. And I love him so much for doing that. She said, I really do, because I've been paid more for those kind of things than I ever was for the movie. I'm always so happy Smart. when a yeah. when a overcompensated yeah. actress gets even more money. Especially for, when she when comes she from Ron Howard's family. Because yes. obviously also, she was just squeaking by to begin with. Chris Pratt, now right. Kennedy, technically. Oh, is and he? I'm not going to do what I see. Yeah. I can't do what I, I can't make the joke I'd make in 1985. Well, because you've, we, you know, we've evolved. We have. So. Yeah, no, well. no, Texas. Because I watched the uh, Jurassic World movie, the most recent one, the it's other good. night. I liked it. Dinosaur movie. Damn, I can't. I'm doing Texas. Did you have any idea that uh, all right, actors yeah, made money off theme park theme park rides? The license of their image. I, I, that's that, wild. That I, hadn't, I never thought of that. I. Uh, you should think you should know that because isn't Elvis like isn't he attached to, like everything that moves much like Kiss? Well, no. Okay, no, so the, I would so have much. said I would have said it. Uh, uh, you know, and then she said, "Then that's what I love about him." And mm-hmm. then here we go. Did you get the text? Again, I got oh. it. I got. It. Thank you. It's coming up. Oh, it's. Coming. I just got it. <laughs> oh. Well then. <laughs> It's funny. <laughs> it is funny. Damn People it. have got to buy the box set to get that. <laughs> I can get in trouble if I say that. I think well, you at would. This point, I think it's pointless. At this point, it's not like you've called attention yeah, to it. Yeah, you've already given it to us. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you make yes. too much of a joke, but yeah. it's what I thought. I, yeah. t- I tell you what, folks, if you see any of us out on the streets of either yeah, Florida, we'll you, Washington, D.C., or Virginia, we'll show you the text. Yes. I'll tell you at the live show. Yeah. Uh, here's advice. This is interesting, and uh, maybe later in the show I'll get to tell you about my YouTube dive that really kind of freaked me out last night. Here's advice from burglars, uh, mostly retired ones, but some still rolling, on how to protect your home from burglars. Okay. Uh, the number one is use a wireless alarm system. Uh, burglars can easily cut the wires on less advanced systems. And one study of 400 convicted burglars found 60% say they decided not to rob a home because of its alarm system. So if you have the right one yeah. that's wireless, and uh, I, I'm all in on that, by the way. And I, I probably should have more, but I don't. And I think that if you do, I think it's a great way to uh, protect it because you just... You use the technology that's not only cheap, but it's out there and it's available, I believe. What if you just have the sign in your yard that says you have a wireless alarm? That works, too, sometimes, I I think, think in some cases. Uh, Uh, Number two, put your uh, front porch light on a timer. Uh, If you leave the light on 24 hours a day while you're on vacation, that's a target for burglars, not a deterrent. So use a timer to give the impression that people are actually home. That's as old as the hills. How am I going to plug in my light? It's wired into the wall. That's true. The timer has to be between yeah. the bulb and the thing, right? I mean, I guess I could take the panel off and can plug you it train? In. They have can apps. You train? You're the wait. Hold on. He's Tech Four One One. They have apps for that. What are you talking about? Okay. You can you can put it on an app. My home, my yes. little home. You're mm-hmm. saying I get a smart bulb and then plug it in. Yeah. Got it. Right. Got it. Got it. That mm-hmm. makes sense. Isn't that a way of doing no, it? No, you're smart. What yeah. about? I didn't even mm-hmm. think about that. You could train Santos. But, can Santos? Do but a my switch? front light is gas. Like it's a little flame. It's not. Yes, it is. Is it yes. really? That's so ancient. No, it's not. It one hundred percent. It would look like it's it, a little it flame. Be gas, like a gas eighteen hundreds London. Yes. yes. What the gas light yes. man comes yes. over? It's a bulb that looks like a no, gas. No, it's flame. going. It's hot. You know what's great, Mike? Is every morning Oscar looks out his door and Dick Van Dyke puts out his porch light. Chim chimmery, <laughs> chim chimmery, chim chim chimmery. <laughs> Shannon says that it is not gas. No, he's lying. <laughs> Number three, if you're going to get a guard dog, Oscar, this yeah, you fail on this one, too. Yeah. If you're going to get a guard dog, make sure it's mean. That ain't Santos. No. Uh, burglars don't mind small dogs or even dogs that make some noise, but they do hate dogs that might bite them. 
and uh, who don't roll over and let the burglars rub their belly. So yeah. get a scary dog. That's mm-hmm. a and uh, number four is keep your valuables uh, out of your bedroom. Burglars usually get in and out in less than ten minutes, and if they use a good chunk of that time to hit the bedroom dressers and closets for jewelry, credit cards, weapons, and other yeah. valuables, you might want to put them somewhere else. I, I disagree because I like to keep them up there when I do my treasure bath. When I put them, when I put them in the tub and I roll around, then I I like to keep them close to the bedroom. You're when you're swimming in Benjamins, yes, and then jewels naked, yes. <laughs> I don't know where people would keep uh, anything. Uh, uh. Are home safes any? Are they important anymore? I don't I even know one. if that works. I do. You do? Yeah. I'm well, not going to tell you where it is. What would you put in it? Yeah, the Cody's can get those safes out. Oh my god, they, they know how to get that. Like the out, side you know? of the house, they'll break through the the yeah. what is it? Not the just the brick. They'll break through the siding. Mine has a bottle. They'll of come up through the basement. Mm-hmm. Mine has a bottle of vodka in it. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> there you go. Hey, hey guys. Hey, listen to me. Hey guys. <laughs> Have, have you ever wanted time. your own, Karen? Oh. Huh? Hmm? Look Without out. the risk of having a toxic human in your life. Now there's a Kickstarter campaign where you can actually own a Karen action figure. Ooh. Yeah. Even better, there's also a nemesis for Karen. Uh, her Joe the Manager is the Ken doll for the Karen doll. Mm. Uh, both action figures are just under four inches tall. Yeah, of course they cheaped it. Yeah, you know why? Why not? Why have a uh, a real like a twelve you know, decent sized uh, action figure? Karen is wearing a shirt that says <laughs> "Live, Love, Laugh." That's that's what Karen would that's wear. Yeah. Uh, with skinny jeans, and Joe is wearing a red vest, a <laughs> mask, and is carrying a clipboard. They're listed at eighteen dollars each, uh, or you can get both for thirty four dollars. And you kind of need both because if Karen doesn't get to speak to the manager, who's she going to complain to? Am I right? <laughs> Hey, how are you? Welcome to Eyewitness News, everybody. Coming off, uh, boy, I tell you, that green algae down here in Florida could be toxic. <laughs> no, I really, I don't. You're right, Jackson. Let's throw Thank it to you. Tucker for weather. Back to Wink News. Thanks so much. And now a little something, something. Joe Keery wants you to stop obsessing over his hair. Yeah, okay. As yeah, cool as you might think uh, his uh, hair is, his hairdo on Stranger Things, uh, the star recently got candid about the way the internet's fascination really makes him feel. Here's his quote. It's really ridiculous. It's not something I have control over. Uh, he said that in an interview with the Daily Beast, our friends at the Daily Beast. It's just internet fodder that's carried over and is now attached to me. I can't really knock it. Joe continued, I have a career, so I have to be like, who cares? I'll take it. But it's also not something I care about at all. As for how he feels about the constant fixation on his locks, he said, it's so stupid, honestly. (laughs) The actor who plays uh, Steve Harrington on uh, Stranger Mm -hmm. Things then ran his fingers through his hair, tossed it, ran a brush through it, tossed it again, looked at his reflection in a mirror before ducking into a nearby salon to have his forehead waxed. (laughs) Duh! (laughs) Shut up! You're luckier than anybody. God, please give me a break. With your big alien head. Yeah. You know? A lot of weird looking people on that show. That, I'm just yeah. going to say that. You don't want people to obsess about your hair. Cut it. Yeah. How's that? That's Thank right. you very much. Thank <laughs> you. I need another lemonade. We'll be right back. <laughs> Romeo and Juliet. What? Antony and Cleopatra. Bogey and Bacall. Add to that list another one of the world's greatest love stories. Mike and Carlo Mara. Their love is like a red, red rose that's newly sprung in June. Their love is like the melody that's sweetly played in tune. And nowhere is that love story more on display than the Mike O'Mara bonus show. Yes, fall in love with love again and again with our Mike O'Mara bonus show subscription. Lovingly tap the banner at MikeO'MaraShow.com and order the TMOS bonus show today. You'll love it. Just like Carla loves Mike. Uh, Welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Brought to you by Dadgrass. It's summer. Summer. Lighten up. Dadgrass is great anytime. It can help you chill out before a big meeting or be the replacement for that evening glass of wine. Dadgrass is legal, organic hemp that relaxes your body and mellows your mind. Dadgrass CBD products are made with 100% organic hemp 
that's easy to dose and the effects come on smooth, man. Try their token smokable pre-rolled joints or if you prefer, hemp flower or their selection of CBD tincture drops. <laughs> Whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite, Dadgrass will leave you in a euphoric mood. All Dadgrass products are federally legal for ages 18 and over, and it ships right to your door anywhere in the U.S. Go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS to check out their products right now. Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS. Go to dadgrass.com slash TMOS for 20% off your first order. That's dadgrass.com slash TMOS. And we Thank you, P. Pill. Uh, okay, the commanders, your yes. uh, Washington commanders, no longer the uh, politically incorrect name that they were exactly. called for years and years and years. We've uh, evolved. We've evolved, but at the same time, you still have that ownership situation in Washington <laughs> with Dan Snyder and his missteps. Yes. And uh, got a good coach. I will give him that. Ron Rivera, I think, is a... Uh, is a, a pretty guy. decent guy. Yeah. Really, really good guy, actually. So they made a good move there. And uh, what happened is they had their uh, preseason uh, debut mm -hmm. with the uh, new uniforms. And yes. Mike, part of it was they replaced the classic fight song. I believe, if I am not mistaken, the Washington football team was the first NFL team to have an official song. Now, Stupid I know. Stupid song. I know. I know it's not politically correct, but just. For people around the country, for people around the country to know what we're going to reference here, this is the recording they did a million years ago, and this is the original song, Hail to the Redskins, all right? Hail to the Commanders! Hail victory! It was an anthem. Yeah. Okay, so you bleep out... The team, but you say Braves on the warpath. Well, Mike, it was this was just an yeah, example. Don't, don't read ahead. Just an don't example. Don't read ahead. So, they put out new lyrics and a strange new arrangement. When this now, keep in mind, this is literally years in the making. Yep. The changing of the name of the team, right? Let's clarify here. We have certain personal thoughts on not the name change. That's fine. Right. Like move on with that. Like we're not living in the past. We have personal thoughts on the execution of such a heritage team and the way that they have fumbled over at and many over levels. And the over messaging, again. not just, I don't forget about the ownership for a second. Just yeah. you're you. This is a renaissance, right? Right. It's supposed to be flawless, especially if you take two years. Yep. And keep well, in mind, this is the National Football League. They have all the do, money. They have all. You the do money. have to frame it. Uh, by looking uh, through this lens and including ownership simply because kicking and screaming would be oh, the way yeah. do it. Of course, Dan Snyder course. went to uh, this decision. He fought it. He was forced every to. Turn, Correct. He made public statements that he would never change yep. the name. And then when the time came, uh, there have been so many name changes for Washington franchise. When you have the baseball team that was the Washington Senators right. back way back in the day, and then they finally got another team and they fumbled that one. Of course, I yeah. mean, and you get these, you get these safe, homogenized names uh, like Wizards, non offensive, right? Nationals. What does that mean, right. really? Right. Uh, and then you got Commanders, and I thought it was horrible. Because it just meant nothing. It still really. is. I think it still is horrible. As a matter it's of fact, terrible. I have to like sometimes take a step back and say, "That's really what they chose." I, I wanted That's the really admirals. That's what they chose. Admirals. The admirals. Yeah, I wanted the admirals. Mm -hmm. Well, the admirals is a. I mean, that's a that's a team name that's been used. Yeah. In many many cities, and that has at least. Uh, I don't know. I look. I understand that Warriors was uh, too close, but the but the Native Americans uh, in the United States do not own. The term warrior. Warrior's been used for, you know, the, the Roman State, Empire. The Golden State exactly. Warriors. Yeah, exactly. The Golden State Warriors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I thought Warriors would have been a great transition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, but, it's a W. Uh, yeah. and, it's another uh, thing that, <laughs> and the only W they'll get this year. No, that's another thing, Mike, that they fumbled badly. Yeah, was they the, did name. the name change. So they have the new fight song, and instead of writing a new fight song, what they did 
was just sort of revamp Hail to the Redskins. I was making a joke when I did that. Mike, I want you to hear this. This is what the Washington Football Organization put out when they were deciding lyrics. This is the demo they sent out to the media. And I actually heard this on Channel 5 this morning. I said, I must pull this. So this is the uh, the lyrics that they have chosen, and this is how they're presenting them, okay? Hail to the commanders. Hail victory. <laughs> Fight for our commanders. Fight for old D.C. Now, let's just, I want to break this I, down. I, I am, I, I. <laughs> Hail to the commanders. Hail victory! Then fight for our commanders. I can't you know, tell. Are they? Can I? Can I say this? The bitterness comes from yes. And I'm gonna th- I'm gonna lay the ego out there. All, all right? right. So everybody can really see it. Okay. Okay. There's no reason I should have ever not been on the radio in Washington <laughs> D.C. My my restaurant offered a great time for everybody. That there is a disconnect in that town. For it just doesn't. If you're vanilla and you just do things cookie cutter and you do you just you swim in that sea of mediocrity, then you're going to blossom. You are. You're going to be inside the beltway with Koki Roberts. You're going to go to every party. You're going to you're going to thrive in that piss hole of a media market. And it's just stunning to me how this mediocrity not only thrives it's just rewarded over and over and over again new york what do they say in new york if you can make it there you can make it anywhere anywhere anywhere. one of the crushed my soul that don and i were not able to get a toehold in new york city i really wish we'd been but dc what are you kidding me Uh, let's do before i move on to the next tape and there's another example i want to play for you let's dissect these lyrics hail to the commanders okay if the name of the team is commanders that's fine that makes sense right Hail victory. Okay, right on. Fight for our commanders. Now, we've had a total shift here where right. now the commanders, who are they fighting for? Who's fighting for the commanders? The commanders is the team, right? <laughs> Fight for our commanders. Fight for our commanders. There was no effort put in. None. None at all. And, and what? You know, you know, let me just say this. I don't know, because I wasn't part of the process, nor was I privy to it, that you perhaps could have effort put in, but it was still, it was so overly thought out that they went down Hail to the last to the minute. Commanders. Who are these people? Hail victory. Sounds like a barbershop yeah. quartet. Fight for our commanders. Yeah, they probably paid them. No, the Fight one. for old Were they? Did they record it in the back of a fucking Honda Odyssey? Is that where they recorded <laughs> I, it? I don't mind the song as much as how they demoed it to the press. <laughs> and also, I get the impression... You don't mind the, 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 the song I in, don't mind the in, lyrics, but... Give me an iteration of what you recorded before with the new spin so I can get pumped up for it. I know for a fact not that, cappella version. that the version that I played with the singing on the old one, I actually met the guy who ran the band and did that recording yeah. session. It's his voice tracked eight times. So they didn't actually have Washington singers. I, they just I, I get it. So I'm wondering if this is I'm wondering if this is multi track. Hail to the commander. No. This no, is done not. in a Don's Johns. Yeah, okay. So Mike. Yeah, but you know what? I've got it. I've got another they did release after the blowback, they released another version. Oh, they did. Okay. That was recorded in oh, a recording really? studio. Okay. Play okay. that one, please. Deck man, <laughs> great memories. With- so I walk around my house and say, "Deck man, bah, 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 yeah. bah, 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 Mike, it's better. Deck man's better than that. Here's where the story gets even better because at the first home preseason game, they did not play the fight song after the first touchdown. They just forgot. Mm. They didn't play it at and the so, preseason game. Yep, they did play it after the second touchdown. And check out the slow tempo of this quote-unquote fight song. Now, you have to listen because they've not released this arrangement anywhere, so this is fan-captured on a phone. Okay. All right? But this was recorded at the stadium, not after the first time they scored as commanders, okay, but the, the second, second time. Right. Okay. okay. Slow! 
What's going on over there? What's going on? All right, turn it off. All right, I've heard enough. That is just Hail ridiculous. Hail to the commander. Is Dan right, Snyder it. still on a yacht overseas? <laughs> yeah, huge Who one. Knows? Oh, so, so. So, uh, so Mike, good to know things oh, are under God. control over at Federal Express Stadium. Now, who's the quarterback this year I don't for, know. The, uh, for your commanders? <laughs> Mark uh, Bolger. Mark Bolger? I know. I'm kidding. Uh, Whitey that. Bolger. Uh, anyway, <laughs> we'll uh, take a break. And Sammy when we come Ball. back, prepare to be scared. A little okay. something scary coming up for all of you. The Lord loves you. That's why you cry. Buseyisms. A dog eating grass means the holidays are here. Buseyisms. A broken rake is a kitchen necessity. If you know the secret, Buseyisms. Hello, dear people. This is Gary Busey. I played Buddy Holly, but now I offer wisdom. Do you have thoughts you want to share? Then you should be a TMOS talking head. Just email Rob at MikeOmeraShow.com and you can find yourself on a Zoom call with the three wise men of TMOS. Include a phone number and get ready for fun. TMOS talking heads. More fun than a Cincinnati margarine rally with extra red hots. Buseyisms. Thank you, Gary. Uh, uh, welcome Mike back. Carson yes. Wentz. Carson Wentz, yes. Uh, hi He of the uh, Philadelphia Eagles. Oh, that's uh, right. Summer is here, everybody, and that means we're spending more time outside and less time in the kitchen. And Freshly's new lineup of effortless in-season meals gives you more time to enjoy summer. Don't waste your time inside shopping and cooking. Take advantage of the good weather and Freshly's special... special <laughs> I had a sip. That's Please. All. That's all. Take advantage of the good weather and freshly special summer sale. Fruit fritters. <laughs> now you can get uh, $125 off uh, across your first five orders. Uh, with Freshly, you're not stuck with fast food chains or frozen dinners. Freshly provides delicious, effortless, balanced meals without having to sacrifice your summer moments. They're designed by nutritionists, prepared by chefs, then delivered right to your door. I love that they are delivered fresh, not frozen, and always delicious. And Oscar loves Freshly, mm. too. He lives on the Southwest Chicken Bowl. Yum. Uh, make summer dinners stress-free with Freshly. Right now, you can get $125 off your first five orders at Freshly.com slash TMOS. That's $125 off. Freshly.com slash TMOS. Mrs. O'Mara is on a new school schedule with my son. Getting up at about 5.30 in the morning. She's the morning uh, lady. She's the morning lady, hits the floor running. Uh, I linger, but I'm up uh, by, you know, a little before six anyway. That's the way. My problem Bath is. Bathrobe and pipe? Uh, yes, of course. That's exactly what it's <laughs> like. Like Ward coach. Cleaver. <laughs> yes. With my schlong hanging out. Oh, Mike, now that's dirty. We're not that so, kind of show. Yeah, how dare you. Uh, it's an early, early morning in, in our house. The problem is Carla is able to turn it like 9.30. I, on the other hand, usually linger with uh, you know, with the magic box because sure. I'm a guy and I like my TV and mm -hmm. I like staying up late. I always have. But I do a dive on the YouTube channel, which I upgraded to premium uh, because I love it so bad. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, thank you. Like, this is year five. Yeah, it's we're a begging, thank you. Begging, him. begging him. Begging him. Uh, it's, it's just so much better. Um, anywho, I... I'm all over the place. You never know. That's where I found that guy, Ben Mala. Yeah. yeah that Oscar yeah, was yeah. emailing. Oh, yeah. Actually, let me at, check if he wrote back. <laughs> ben Real Mala. Time. Oh, God. You know what? That'll be the fast yes. That'll be the fast. <laughs> I don't want, I don't know if I even want the fast yes, to oh, be Mike, honest with you. And Vino I Veritas. Be, now you're saying you don't want it. <laughs> well, I probably would feel both happiness and dread at the same time. Uh, no, you know. no response yet. Okay, good. He's biding yeah, so, his time. So the dives I do are all over the place from uh, speedboats going through Hallover Inlet over in Miami, which mm -hmm. I watch a lot of, to uh, tr a ton of drumming videos uh, with rum uh, rudiments and Buddy Rich and things like that. Drumming, music, it's all over the place. Right. However, you never know what you're going to get. And last night... I was, uh, it was, it was late. It was right before I turned in and I got on a YouTube channel that was called scary things seen on dash cams and scary things seen 
uh, with ring doorbells mm. or ring cameras. Yeah. And it was, uh, I'll be honest with you, it was truly scary because of the reality of it. You know, and was it well, like it, paranormal it, stuff that it appeared? Uh, or? Borderline paranormal, but not really, not nearly as much uh, as yes, sir, yes, Oscar Santana. Are these the videos where you see someone casing the house and then something startles them and they run away from the front door? It's a that's a variant of it. Okay. Uh, the one that the one that stopped me were the ones where the ring cameras would pick up people in the house. While the owners were in residence, and oh uh, wow, yeah, just weird stuff. There's one where you see this kid uh, walking through a kitchen, dumps out a purse on a kitchen mm-hmm. island, and then he walks away. And then five seconds later, you see a real child come in walking in the kitchen, and the babysitter grabs him, scoops him up, and runs out of the house. Mm-hmm. And then the other camera picks up the guy running out and the babysitter running out with the kid. See, that's Very, not, very scary that's stuff. That's not only illegal, that's messy. You don't so, want stuff dumped out on your counter. That was the camera. Yeah, but they're but being the dash, robbed, Rob. I know. The, the, well, they're being burglarized. Mm-hmm. And the dash cam uh, it was all over the world. You saw Saudi Arabia was the scariest one I saw, which was... It's always a, a very dark road late, late at night, and there was just a person walking in a very infirmed way mm-hmm. uh, with kind of that, the robes that you see yeah. uh, the Saudi men mm-hmm. wear, mm-hmm. and bent over and stooped with uh, the uh, the headdress coming down a little mm-hmm. bit, but walking in such a way uh, that was just terrifying, and then walking faster and you hear the guy in the car, and you hear him saying in Arabic, stop, stop, back up. And you can tell that it's not BS by his voice. This guy is utterly freaked out. Mm. And then I went right back, and I'm watching this stuff. This is not what you want to watch at night. It is wow. not what you want. But what really got me was a guy is at home, and he wakes up in the morning, doesn't have a cell phone. And he's very organized, and he's very... uh you know, he's very obsessive compulsive. He's a little anal about where he puts his stuff. He always puts it next to the TV and goes back and looks at his video. And as he looks at his video, you see at night, this guy, single guy in his little townhouse. And there's a dude casually, casually walking through and uh, just casing his bedroom yeah. while he is mere feet away. Wow. Uh, and the moral of the story is I'm just... I did a uh, an an exterior walk on my house. Mm. I did an interior lock check on my house and went out to Carla's car in the driveway, wide open, mm. wide not a open. Mm. And, and Must not be a nice. La 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 la. la. Yeah. She got it. I talked to her today yeah. before the show. Yeah. I said, "Hey, you know, down here, uh, if you saw some of the people that are, uh, you know, down here that are scurrying about uh, in the dead of night." And uh, we've been hit here eh, 30, 40 times over the years, probably. There's a, you know? there's a famous saying in the, in the Fantana household, um, and it's called, Como no te cuesta, as my mom would say, which means it didn't cost you anything, so you don't take care of it. Uh, so <laughs> my mom at all times. What is it again? Give, us the, give com, that to como me. Como no te cuesta. Como no te cuesta. Como no te cuesta. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then. Like anytime we would scuff something up or run into the wall with something, it, yeah. she was like, "Well, didn't sacrifice for it. You don't care about it, and, and you don't. You know, you don't see. They're not monsters. Scary, scary yeah. one was a little tough to take. Guy in a Mike Myers costume uh, did a uh, a a an attempt to open the front door of this house three times mm-hmm. and came back. Two other times, like two, three o'clock in the I, morning. So with ballsy, a knife, but with so, a knife. so ballsy to go into weird. someone's bedroom. Well, while lots of asleep, weird, but, lots of weird but guys, stuff out there. Let's be realistic here. The, a lot of you see a lot more of these videos lately because you know we have our own framework for what it's like in D.C. or mm-hmm. in Southwest Florida and what our listeners are sharing with us. But across the country, crime has gone up because the stakes have gone down. Like people are. St- they're desperate. People are desperate. They're yeah. desperate. Mm-hmm. Crime in every city yeah. uh, is is going in up, Georgetown. Up, up. Uh, yep. You know, somewhere you think that's patrolled at a high level, not because uh, I live there, because real wealthy people live there, uh, and there's constantly 
on next door. Hey, somebody, they caught somebody on camera or they'll show the camera. Of, mm-hmm. they, they had left the door open. And what do you do when you walk in your house? You drop your keys, you drop your wallet. Exactly. So people pop in the front door and then steal the keys and wallet and take off with their car. And, you know, and some of the stuff can be really, really scary. Yeah. Some of the stuff can be uh, ridiculous. And uh, by the way, the last one I watched was a, a recent one, was not connected to my YouTube, but the guy defecating uh, on the lawn yes. where a guy had uh, given him crap in the neighborhood yeah. about not picking up and his then, dog's poo. Mm-hmm. And then he decided to leave a, and then a he little gave gift him there. crap. Exactly. Gave him crap. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I won't do that again. Yeah. <laughs> I will not be doing that again. Well, no, you have been working out. Uh, yeah, well, it still doesn't matter. You know, they'll catch you on the camera. Yeah, I don't want that played for everybody to see. And besides, you know? you'll need a bigger bag. Who's <laughs> like saying thank you? We got a oh, you were, you were there. Huh? I was. Yeah. So that, yeah. Well, I remember what you had for dinner. Bring the hefty yeah. bag. <laughs> oh, now with the school year starting, I get the duty again. So, and I mean the duty. Yeah. I get the morning, the morning duty because he's getting ready for school mm-hmm. and he's got his uh, little you. thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> happy day. Yeah. My life. Hey, happy summer, everybody. Mid August. <laughs> we'll be right back with the uh, town sound. <laughs> Big football announcers, boating and southpaws. They all make the world go round, and they're all part of this week's bonus show. Here's a preview. What a great day it is for the NFL and NFL football, everybody. I'm just jumping in the shower, and I'm ready for the day. That play was <laughs> wicked bad. That cat is a crab in that water tank. The right hand of God is exalted. I am the sun god, and you will worship me. Oh, yeah, I, I love the Bible. Keep keep going, Oscar. Right. My eyes are just bouncing around. Back. You all better start responding. Respecting me. I just pissed my pants. The Team OS bonus show has the styles, colors, and fabrics you need to look your best for back to school. Get your subscription today at MikeOmerashow.com. Bonus. Bonus. That's Jim Amato. Thank you, Jim. Uh, welcome back to the Mike O'Mara Show. Why choose proven quality sleep from Sleep Number? Because right now is the biggest sale of the year where all smart beds are on sale with 50% savings on a 360 limited edition smart bed. It's a great time to discover adjustable comfort for both of you. Sleepers who use their 360 smart bed technology enjoy 28 minutes of more restful sleep per night. That's up to 170 hours per year, which is nice. Nice! As summer winds down, it's a time of transition. Whether it's back to school or back to the office, quality sleep can help everyone in the family reset to their new roots and their routines. Uh, So gradually adjust your new bedtime by 10 to 15 minutes a night. Prioritize your new schedule. Get your bedroom to uh, between 65 and 68 degrees. And reward yourself with quality sleep. The ultimate in self-care. And if you really want the highest quality sleep, be like me. Get a sleep number bed. I wouldn't sleep on anything else. My sleep number setting is a 65. So is Carla's. Why choose proven quality sleep from sleep number? Because every great day starts the night before. Discover special offers now for a limited time at your local sleep number store or at sleepnumber.com slash T-M-O-S. Cue the town sound music. Sound. Call this stereophonic sound. Sound town. Tuesday's birthdays, Oscar. Mm. And if I was forced to guess, I would guess this lady as older than her actual age. How old do you think Madonna is today? Uh, 75. I would have put her at about 70. 65. 64 she is. This lady started out as a dancer, went to New York, went to Paris, came back as a single, and is she hot? This is Madonna. What are your dreams? Mm, To rule the world. (laughs) There you go. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Madonna. I like that because it throws back, it lets you know that she's still sort of a happening artist. She still has got the focus on her, but she got her launch on bandstand. Seem- Never liked the personality. Yeah. Adore the music. Great music. I think musically, she's made some great stuff. And mm. she's Always been famous that. since she was 20. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. She absolutely hated all the other crap around it. Just, yeah. just didn't like the whole Warren Beatty. Didn't like all the, uh But I oh, love I forgot her about music. the Warren Beatty era. I still think Vogue from the era is the probably the anthem of that particular Wonderful time song. in music. Ray of Light. Great song. Big yeah. Ray of Light really, is great, really, too. Yeah. yeah. Borderline, mm-hmm. also awesome. Mm-hmm. All right. Speaking of old women, this lady is going uh, viral on TikTok. It's an old woman, grandma, and they handed her a Roman candle and lit it, and they said, Grandma, just hold it. 
and you know a Roman candle it shoots a flaming yeah. ball out, and every time the ball goes out, this woman has the same reaction. I don't know why I was so drawn to this tape. Ready? Ready. When I do. Keep holding it like that. Oh! 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 Man! Oh! She wants Sounds to like she's oh. getting beaten. She wants to be <laughs> over. That's awful. That's awful. Yeah, that's now, awful. Check, check that lady's pacemaker. Now, Mike, do you know that it's they funny. make a clock that's smaller than a grandfather clock, and it's called. Can a you grand- play with that one more time? That yes. Just the first part, because the sound. The first, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. But hold on. The sound that you hear the first time is the sound Carla made when she stepped on the snake. I swear to God, this is what Carla okay, sounds like when go. she really Ready? gets scared. Ready? When I do. Keep holding it like that. Oh. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's funny. So, Mike, there is something smaller than a grandfather clock. It's called a grandmother clock. Oh. And, uh, it, you know, it's it's tall, but not as tall. And I was right. wondering if this lady had a grandmother clock. What might that sound like? Ah, top of the hour. Oh! 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 My lord, that's awesome. we're going to hell. So there's did that. you do that yourself? I did. <laughs> wow, that's wonderful. That sounds um, great. I love that. So this uh, courtesy Oscar uh, Dana Perino from the Fox News Channel. Mm-hmm. Uh, she is she's an opinionated young lady, Mike. And when she's on the panel, she sometimes has a different opinion than she does when she's reading the news. But to turn your opinion this fast in 24 hours. Short of the nuclear codes being written on these documents in a locked behind closed doors. I just really don't understand how a document could warrant this kind of warrant. The Washington Post reporting that the feds were looking for classified nuclear documents during their search of former President Trump's Florida home on Monday. I love the fact that she has her panel voice and her news voice. That, <laughs> Play that again. That didn't That's age such well. a, That is Short so Short of the incredible. nuclear codes being written on these documents in a locked behind closed doors, I just really don't understand how a document could warrant this kind of warrant. The Washington Post reporting that the feds were looking for classified nuclear documents during their search of former President <laughs> Trump's Florida home Can she sound any Monday. softer with that? No. Classified nuclear documents. You know, the kind that all presidents have. Yeah. You know the angle, the angle, though? I don't know. I Look, I think perhaps your responsibility, perhaps a reckless disregard for the intelligence community. I'm not really sure that... You know, he'd have these in the basement because he's getting ready to sell them to the highest bidder. That's funny, though, when I hear that, because I don't think it's all that true. But but it's so dumb. It is so dumb. But it's so up his alley. It's so dumb. It's so up his alley. That's it. That's it, though. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Is dumb. And I do things because I'm dumb, yeah. and I think I'm smart. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, that's he definitely, the whole. He definitely thinks he's smart. He thinks he's the smarter problem, than the smartest person look, in the room. I think the problem is so many people want to create more evil when there's no. just plenty of uh, what would be the word I would use? Plenty of criminal incompetence. Yep. Mm-hmm. You don't need the big conspiracy. Uh, no, I, no, I think that there's. I mean, my gut is that there's a nefarious angle to this, but his. His handling of it is so dumb that you can't believe this man is so dumb. Yeah, well, I mean, he's, and, he's got a history of handling things badly. Yeah. So, And when you say nefarious, I say, yeah, maybe. I wouldn't shut the door on that. But you know what I think, more when you talk about the dumb factor? I think and say, hey, how was your steak? Listen, would you like to come down to the basement and see something I've got special? Things, this, this really is, great this things. Is, this is, Mike, in corporate America, when people leave jobs all the time, right? they don't realize that when you take documents, there's a digital footprint. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it just happens. Like they'll take a a game plan and you'll be like, Oh, I wonder why they downloaded that. And then you'll like, like, Hey, I see you've downloaded corporate documents. Yeah. That's illegal. He probably thought that like, there's no way these rubes at the archives have any context of what we have. I printed it and hit delete. Yeah. It's fine. Well, they could compromise some of our operatives overseas, Mr. Ruff. I don't care, you know. Yeah. That's no big deal. Because I don't think he was building a burn compute. book uh, at home like uh, the no. plastics. Oh, he oh wait a second. I'm sorry, Oscar. We need a time check. It's 27 <laughs> minutes after the hour. Stay tuned to the Michael Mara Show. I think it was a stack of documents. This is my personal opinion. Yeah. 
that he could use where how he wanted for leverage. <laughs> look, look at your brother listening to you over there. I was. I love. He the doesn't fact, care. I love that he offered his doesn't opinion over no, the no. grandmother. I love. He doesn't it. care it's at all. Fine. I care, Mike. Care. I care desperately. Sure you do. As a okay, matter of fact, ahead. I care this much that I'm going to ask you this question: How fast does your golf cart go? Ooh. If you had to estimate. Because you, you got a pretty good one. I know you had it. 18, 18 to 20. Would yeah. you like to guess how fast the world's fastest golf cart goes? No, but I love this. What? His name is Robbie Steen, and he currently holds the record, and he wants to break his own record. That's something I don't understand. Mm. So dangerous if you get of that thing over. 119 miles an hour. <laughs> oh, that is so. To do that in a golf cart is in so dangerous. Cart. All right, let's hear Robbie, and I believe his son is on this, too. Realistically, everything happens so quick, you don't really have time to think Quickly. about it in the heat of the moment. This one's capable on paper of a lot more than the other ones have been. But it's if it'll actually stay on the track. Hold on, those are two separate part, guys. So yeah, that's that's it's Robbie and his dad. It's Robbie oh, his and dad, yeah. his dad his and dad, dad, dad and son. Yeah. Like that. Well, okay, right, let's have the son. Capable on paper of a lot more than the other ones have been. But it's if it'll actually stay on the track. For the most part, there's some excitement too, and it's <laughs> kind of like a a mystery. Even though we know what the cart's capable of, it's just kind of. That Paper. thrill of watching it go down the track. The amazing thing, Mike, is if you do get a golf cart that goes 119 miles an hour, you can shoot 18 holes in 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I got. <laughs> oh, that's it. We got to get out of here. Oh, my God. I was on one the other day, and a guy waxed me in his. Oh, I was really? so jealous. Yeah. Oh, my God. So jealous. <laughs> you know? Because uh, you want to get back. We can take the governor off. Yeah, yeah, they. It's uh, electronic. Yeah, it's a chip. Yep. Yeah, it, it's chipping. Nobody has chips anymore. <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, I'm going to get back to drinking. Of I, course. Uh, I appreciate everybody uh, coming along for a Tuesday. <laughs> let's look for the text at about 5:30 when he yeah. starts sending his TikToks. Where he's like, "Let's start the show now." <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Anyway, we got to get out of here for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana and our man in Washington. Pony boy, Matt Bloom, Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Mike O'Mara Bonus Show. Get it at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. It's coming from the health sector. I just swallowed a beat. <laughs> Number one, this is disgusting. Deck man, great memory with a nice deck.